West Michigan's only freestanding children's hospital once again rated one of the best in the nation. Of course, we're talking about Helen DeVos Children's Hospital, named in five specialty categories in a ranking by U.S. News and World Report. The Cornwall Health Facility was rated the 42nd best children's hospital for cancer care. That's the highest for any of the five specialties that you see on your screen there. The report evaluated 108 children's hospitals across the U.S. It is the 13th consecutive year that DeVos Children's Hospital has had at least one specialty make the rankings. The hospital's president says this is a testament to the dedication to exceptional care. Good job. There you go. Congrats. Pat on the back. Hey, Art Prize, we know it's over, mm -hmm. right? But one group in Grand Rapids is hoping that you're still itching to see some colorful pieces of work throughout Furniture City. Uptown GR has launched a public art walking tour that highlights 36 outdoor murals and other decorated public infrastructure pieces. Uptown GR hopes it'll showcase how the different neighborhoods of Grand Rapids are thriving and inviting. Many of the art pieces are new, funded through a grant program by Uptown GR. Details on the walking tour are all available on Uptown GR's website. Love that. On downtown, Grand Rapids getting in on the Halloween spirit. More than 20 local businesses are participating in this year's Scarecrow Contest. They'll each decorate a unique scarecrow, put it outside, and then you get to vote for your favorite. That looks like a chicken to me. Yeah, that's, what <laughs> that's what I was going to say. All the fun starts tomorrow. <laughs> You just scan the QR codes when you visit. The winners will be announced October 27th. Prizes will be going to the top scarecrows. Are crows scared of chickens? I don't know. I don't, that could be the best scarecrow maybe, ever. Maybe. I don't know. Hey, look up in the sky. It's a bird. It's a plane. No, it's the Kalamazoo Astronomical Society hosting Comet Watch. This is, this is pretty rare. Yeah. From October 14th through the 18th, from 7 to 9, Richland Township Park. So what's going on there? Well, during that time, you'll be able to hopefully catch a once-in-a-lifetime look at Tushinshuan Atlas. And now, that comet was last seen wow. 80,000 years ago. You know, it, give or take a decade. How does a comet live 80,000 years? Yeah. That was during the time of the Neanderthals. Wow. Yeah, so it was a long time ago. And it likely won't be swinging by Earth again for another 80,000 years. So, I mean, if you want to get a shot, this is your one chance. How do they know it's the same <laughs> I know, one? I don't know. Maybe there's a, a bumper sticker? I don't know. Uh, views <laughs> of the comet throughout an assortment of binoculars, telescopes will have all the gear out there, but you can check it out if you are a stargazing person. I need to go because I need to learn some things. Uh, honestly, I, I have gone up to the Keene Observatory a few times, yeah. and it is kind of, it's, more than kind of cool. Yeah. I mean, they really, they have like laser pointers that can point up into the heavens. Sure. It's pretty cool. Okay. 80,000 years.